Welcome to this introductory training video on the Falcon Communicator. In this video, you will learn the basics of the Communicator. Let's start. When you buy a Falcon Communicator, you will also receive a stubby antenna, an installation manual, a setup guide for app functionality, as well as an app download guide. If you've ordered it to use with the range of compatible third-party panels for full app functionality, then you will also receive a serial cable with an adapter board or a module for that specific panel. For this demo, we have a serial cable with a Texacom adapter board. At the back of the Falcon, you will see two labels. The top one gives you information about the communicator, such as the account code, the default serial port format, and the default hardwire input settings. On the second label, you'll find the QR code, which needs to be scanned to link the communicator to the app, or you can manually link it by using the serial number labeled S slash N and the verification code labeled V slash C provided. When you apply power to the Falcon, the first thing the seven segment display will show is the firmware version. In this demo, it is 428B, which is version 4.28, and the B indicates the hardware version. It then starts the initialization process, just like when you would switch on your cell phone or PC. The R means that it is restarting and powering up the GSM modem. The I means it's initializing, that is, it's getting the modem ready to connect to the GSM network and the lowercase c means it's in the process of connecting to the GSM network. Once it's connected to the GSM network, it will display the priority of the network it is connected to, as well as the signal strength of that connection. In this demo, it shows that we're connected to priority network 1 at a signal strength of 6. This is a signal strength out of 9, 1 being poor and 9 being excellent. For great app connectivity, we recommend a minimum signal strength of 5. In this demo, we're connecting the Falcon to a Texacom panel, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that the serial format is set to Texacom. Since we know from the label on the back that it is defaulted to Paradox, we now need to change it. To change the serial format, remove power from the Falcon. Hold down the push button below the display and reapply power whilst holding down the button. Immediately after the firmware version is displayed, release the button. The first serial format displayed will be the default one, in this demo, it's a P for Paradox. To move to the next format, press the button once. Be sure to press the button within 10 seconds before it times out and selects the format displayed. Continue pressing the button once after each format until you reach the format that you're looking for. Since we're looking for the Texacom format, we need to cycle through the different formats until we see a T for Texacom. Once we see the T, leave it to start the initialization process. It will remain in the Texacom format until you change it. The switching on and off of power to the communicator will not change the format. There are three different ways to connect the Falcon to an alarm panel. The first way, which we recommend, is through the serial port, which supports the following panels, Rhino 816 and Rhino 68, the Texacom Premier range of panels, Paradox SP and MG series panels, Pima panels, the IDS805 and IDSX series, the DSC Power Series and Power Series Neo, as well as the RISCO Lightsys 2. The second way is through the universal tip and ring interface, which supports all panels with an onboard dialer. A third way to connect the Falcon 10 alarm panel is through the dry contact inputs, which are positive trip by default where you allow the alarm panel's outputs to trigger the Falcon's inputs. Connect one output of the transformer to the CAC input to monitor AC failure and restore all. The CAC input detects AC voltages between 10 to 24 volts. The Falcon must be connected to a stable 12 volt DC power supply, and we recommend that you power it directly from the battery. The Falcon also has two onboard dry contact relay outputs which can be controlled via the MyFalcon app to example remotely open a gate or switch on an electric fence. 